Hello everyone and welcome to this micro learning session by Nurse and Education Network. This presentation is on the novice to expert, the constructivism approach in nursing. Key learning outcomes for this session are to introduce, provide a definition of constructivism, discuss this in the context of nursing and healthcare, and explain the concept of scaffolding. Constructivism is an education theory on how people learn. So in this theory, the perspective of learning is how students actively create or construct knowledge out of their experiences. And also the important aspects is how they reflect and their learning from these experiences. Key theorists in constructivism are Piaget, Dewey, Vygotsky, and Van Glossesfeld. We will provide specific presentations on each of these key constructivist theorists. So keep an eye on those and also check the reference list and delve deeper into these key theorists in constructivism. So what we need to do is have a think and consider how do we put all this theoretical component and apply it in reality. So for nursing or in healthcare education, we can apply this to the framework of the learning environment. And for in nursing, commonly you'll experience through undergraduate and or postgraduate nursing journeys of learning, training, this novice to expert or dependent to independent in your assessments or framework for your nurse training. So what we can do is start to align the content to the level of nurse experience or skills learned. We can link this into the elements of intended learning outcomes. So key resources to look further into are Benner and Bondi. So in the constructivist learning environment in nursing, as we talked about before, we can follow this novice to expert, independent to dependent framework and scaffold the learning process from the point of the intended learning outcomes, the expected skills, knowledge, criteria learned for that education program, up to the point linking with assessment and any formal feedback processes through there. We can use the elements of Bloom's taxonomy to build and really put a framework into our education programs. So through the scaffold and learning, we can provide elements of essential feedback, clear feedback through the formative and summative opportunities. Often in the clinical environment, the important aspect is that clinical supervision, learning hands-on, that experiential learning opportunity, again, with clear performance management plans linked into the learning program. This feedback from preceptors through the clinical supervision must align with the nurse and the students objectives. So for nurse mentors or peer support, again, the development of constructive feedback skills is essential as part of that clinical supervision. And for the student and also nurse mentors or nurses continuing through practice, the importance of reflection, learning from what we see, what we do, observe in the clinical and academic settings, and reflect using frameworks such as Gibbs and Johns in our nursing journey to develop and enhance our learning opportunities and link past knowledge and priors to develop our nursing skills such as critical thinking, critical awareness and communication elements. Yeah, the key references from this presentation, please visit us at Nursing Education Network for more nursing and healthcare education theory.